Say hello, Miss June. Wag your little tail. Okay, so June is getting a little bit confused and sometimes when I tell her to sit, she lays down. So come here, June. June, down. Good girl. Ah, down. Good girl. So what I've been doing is when she's laying down, I'll tell her, June, sit. Come on. Ah, June, sit. Come on. June. It's hard to do with one hand. Come here. June, come. Come. Good girl. June, sit. Good girl. We're doing little drills. June, sit. Good girl. I'm not putting her in a stay, so that's why it's okay that she's getting up right now. June, down. Down. Good girl. Good down. So what I'm trying to do is to get her to go from a down into a sit, which is a little bit harder. This is the first time we're doing it. June, sit. Come on. June, sit. Come on. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Come here. June, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Another thing that we're doing is for the hide and seek to get June to really use her nose. I've been using a rag to cover the food up. So well, that works. June, stay. There's the dog food. And I'm going to cover it with the corner of a rag. And she knows it's there, but she wasn't using her nose to find it, so. Okay, June, find it. Good girl. Good girl. So covering it up with a rag takes away her visual sensory and gives her only the option of using her nose. Of course, she saw me just put it there. So it's super easy right now, but as she gets better at this, she will learn find it means that she has to use her nose for something. So June, sit. Good girl, stay. And I'm putting it just under the corner of the rag. I'm not centering the rag over it. I'm trying to make it kind of easy because this is the first time we've done this. And you see there's even a little kibble sticking out there. Okay, find it. You can hear that nose working now. She's trying to figure out. I know it's around here somewhere. There you go. Good girl. Good June. Good girl. Good June.